I enjoyed the smell, the aroma, the taste. And in the early years, I had my favorites. And I think when you, when you start off like that, you start to build a library and you start to build a recognition it, somewhere in the, in, in the back of your mind that you know that's the flavor you like, you recognize it, and, and that leads you into finding out where it's from, who produced it, when it was grown, what price did it sell, and that stays with you forever. But that's the starting process. It's, it's actually getting your mind working, getting your palate working, getting your sense of smell working, to identify those, those big differences, and then tasting so many more teas to concentrate that, that role and make it more precise. And I ended up, when, you, when you're actually tasting an auction of maybe 50 different teas, and there's only a difference in quality of maybe three or four pence, you start to really fine tune uh, your decision-making process and identifying those subtle differences and slowly slowly you build up this fantastic library of, of teas and flavors and you actually become quite knowledgeable in who's produced it, where it was produced, where it was grown, what month it was grown, what week it was grown, was it raining, was it dry, was it all these sort of things play such an important part in the final tasting and you can only do that by tasting and tasting and tasting more and more.